from here, we can parse out the AAA configuration by using this contains keyword option where I do AAA off, and we can see here the AAA configuration is pulled out. It's that simple and with no code. Ever find yourself racing against the clock to troubleshoot network issues? As network engineers ourselves, we felt this pressure firsthand. In this video series, we'll show you how you can automate anything, including tackling complex network challenges such as golden configuration validation in five minutes or less. Do you think we can beat the clock? Keep watching to find out. The topic for this episode is golden configuration validation. Before we race the clock, let's understand what golden configuration validation is and how NetBrain helps us do it. Golden configuration validation is the act of ensuring critical configuration on network devices matches company standards. Now, uh, without automation, the way that this is normally done is that you're going to pull the running configuration from the devices and compare it to a template of configurations that you have, right? And you know, you're either going to stare and compare or use some sort of means, maybe in Excel, to validate that the configuration on the device matches your template. But this can be a very time consuming effort and, you know, can be very hard to do network wide. Well, with NetBrain in three steps, I'm going to show you how NetBrain is able to do that network wide. So the first step is a golden reference automation data table or ADT. This is where we're going to add our golden configuration templates that we're going to reference during the, our validation. And there's really three main components here, a tag that helps us understand which element is which, the actual templates, the actual configuration we're looking for, and other identifiers like a site. This way we can actually be even more granular and look for templates on, for example, a site by site basis rather than just network wide. So you can get pretty granular with this actually. The second step is the golden replication ADT or automation data table. This is where the replicated intents or automations for each of the golden rules we defined in the last table reside, and they can be used just for testing or you can run them as a continuous assessment. So we're able to do this as, and specifically of course, a day two continuous network assessment network wide, right? To look for these rules and validate that they are in place. And the result of this is going to be displayed in a summary dashboard. And this is a dashboard where anybody that's interested in the results can quickly and easily consume the data. So, you know, there's a, a good amount of information here, but let me simplify it down for you into three main steps. Define, define your golden templates, replicate, replicate your automations network wide to do this validation network wide and display. Display the results of your assessment in a summarized dashboard that's easy for anybody who is interested in the result to consume. Now, with this understanding, let's uh, jump into a use case. Picture this, you have acquired a new network and want to ensure it complies with your company's golden rules. From this dashboard that we're seeing here, we, can, we actually can understand that this effort has already been started. We have added checks for things like access, NTP, central log, and SNMP configuration. Now that we've seen what the dashboard can look like and we can see that we're running it network-wide as a continuous assessment, specifically a day two continuous assessment, keep in mind. Let's take a step back to that golden reference ADT and add a brand new rule. So with the golden reference ADT, we can actually see the different types of configurations, the actual templates that we want to validate against, and those sites. So what I'm going to do here is add some new data in the form of a new row. And here, this is going to give me the three fields that I can fill out. So I'm going to add a tag and that just helps identify the configuration template. And I'll call that AAA off because we're going to be adding AAA configuration. I'm going to add my configuration template here. So let me go ahead and paste that in. And let me just clean up the formatting in two seconds. And I'm also going to add a list of sites. These are the sites where I expect this configuration to appear. If a device is not in one of these sites, then it's not going to 
validate against this configuration. This is just an example of the granularity we can achieve with a table like this. So now that the configuration is added to the golden reference uh, ADT, right, or this template table, we can go ahead and actually start building an intent to help us validate this across the network. So let's go ahead and start the clock. So we'll go ahead and we'll add a new intent. I'll call it triple A golden validation. And I'll add a device as the seed device. And we'll go ahead and pull the running configuration live from that device. You can see we've pulled it here. The next thing we need to do is pull the AAA configuration. So that's going to entail us adding a new single variable pattern and clicking on this parse lines option. From here, we can parse out the AAA configuration by using this contains keyword option where I do AAA off. And we can see here the AAA configuration is pulled out. It's that simple and with no code. So now we'll go ahead, now that we have that variable, we'll apply. We also need to add a couple other variables. The first and most importantly, we need to point to the automation data table, right? Specifically that golden reference uh, table. And we'll do that right now. Select that table and press OK. The next thing we need to do is add some built-in data, uh, specifically the site property. This way we can do logic on the site um, to add that granularity. So we'll go ahead and press close and apply again. And now we're ready to build our diagnosis. So I'll head here, we'll add a diagnosis. I'll anchor it to that and we'll go ahead and start. So we're gonna uh, loop through that automation data table, right? That reference table. Golden var tag will be our key because it's different in each row. And we'll say if the tag equals, just going off and the configuration we pulled from the device matches, and this is using a match pattern logic that's a little more in depth to go line by line. But we're going to say if, if all of those lines, uh, the AAA configuration matches the template in the template table and uh, site, the site group in our table contains uh, the site for the particular device. Then this is our, our green, right? We're going to say that uh, AAA matches golden. And we'll make these success because they are successful messages. <clears throat> We're also going to add an else if logic for the problems. And in this case, we're going to say if var tag equals underscore off and site contains site and now this is going to be our error logic now the reason it, the logic is this is because if this first section doesn't match it'll get caught in the second section we'll say triple a config does not match golden and that's our logic so we'll say apply we'll save our automation and then we'll go, we'll add a new name here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, replicate this with the intent replication wizard. Um, yes. And now we can use our four step wizard to replicate this across our network. So <clears throat> we're going to add this to the existing golden replication uh, table. That's our automation library, configuration config rule uh, as a new group. We know the replication settings and we're going to do it by dynamic search and say if uh, device type is a Cisco switch or router. So we'll run all of our devices and we'll go to the last step, which is adding that information. We'll call that column AAA and we'll go ahead and replicate it. So let's open that output table to see the the uh, golden replication table once it's built with the new rule. Okay. 
And it should just take a few seconds here to uh, to populate that table, so we'll just have to, to hold on. Okay, we can see the table was built, and here's our new column. Phew, we managed to beat the clock. What an exhilarating automation adventure, and we're thrilled you joined us on it. So now that we have this new column, uh, built. Of course, we can start continuously assessing for this AAA configuration to make sure it matches our golden template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this once just to get some data. But before we move any further, I do want to, I do want you to see what this golden replication ADT looks like. We can see here there's many columns validating many different types of golden templates. Device passwords, uh, SNMPv3, etc. Right. So it contains all of these replications or automations replicated network wide. So now that we kind of understand and see this table, let's go ahead and put the results of this AAA automation into a new dashboard and we'll call it AAA underscore golden. Uh, and we'll press create. Now we can see this has been created. I'm gonna add it to my summary dashboard uh, which is over here and I'll add it into the golden rule checks section and we can see a dashboards updating and we'll go ahead and open the summary dashboard again and within a few seconds here you already see the row is here within a few seconds here we'll see some output of the actual results for this check so let's give it a couple of refreshes and see if we can get some data to populate and there we go we can see here our triple a golden row with all of our results and it shows that in all of our sites, there is no deviation from that golden configuration. We've just shown you how to automate golden configuration validation in under five minutes without coding. And we hope this video has been helpful to you. Our goal is to make no code automation simple for you. So you can easily follow along and build automations alongside us in five minutes or less. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what topics you'd like us to show next by leaving a comment down below. Your input matters and shapes our future content. See you next time, network automation engineers. Stay tuned for our upcoming episode, where we'll tackle another automation challenge in under five minutes.